distance is all about maximizing our rotational velocity with the golf club. That's also known as the kinematic sequence. When we look at long drivers and the best players in the world, they tend to generate energy very much in the same way. They have a very similar kinematic sequence. Now, that simply means their body's ability to generate energy distally. So what happens is, as the golfer turns back in the backswing and they load into their trail side and then the club travels to the top of the backswing, there is a very distinct sequence to that. What happens is the club head travels first, then the hands, then the arms, then the torso, or what's known as the thorax, and then the hips. Now what's really interesting is in the downswing, that sequence is completely reversed, and we call that the kinematic sequence. We want to optimize our ability to generate energy distally. So what we need to do from the top of the backswing, or in fact, as the club tends to go right around lead arm parallel in the backswing, the best players are actually starting from the ground up to shift their lower body, their pelvis fires first, then their torso, thorax, then the lead arm, eventually the hands, and then the last thing is the club. That's their kinematic sequence. They're transferring energy as their lower body fires, as it decelerates, then the torso speeds up. As the torso decelerates, the lead arm speeds up, and eventually as the lead arm decelerates, now the club head slings through into impact. It's a bit like a ball whip. You're transferring the energy from the inside to the outside. And that's how the kinematic sequence works. So when you want to hit the ball as far as possible, your goal is to optimize your kinematic sequence and get that pelvis first, then the torso, then the lead arm, and then the golf club. A couple of simple ways to do it. You can turn the club upside down. When we take away the striking component and actually having to square the club face, it's much easier to get the right speed. So if I take the club back and I try and make a lot of noise, I'm trying to fire everything in the right order. My lower body goes first, then my upper body, then my arms, and then the club really simple way to get that feel is also what we call a step drill where I start with the club in front of me I turn back and then I step forwards to where I'm getting my upper body and arms are working up as my lower body is leading and going forwards that gets that really dynamic motion we want our body to work in that order so that we can optimize our kinematic sequence if we can do that, then we can maximize our club head speed and we can start to really send that ball down the fairway a long way.